اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session we looked into how to load the data using read.csv function into this data object and then we assessed or we looked into how to check or inspect the data. Now we are good to go and move on to specify our measurement model. Now it's similar to what we've been doing in Smart PLS. There we do it by click, here we are doing it by commands. There, if this is a smart PLS, you would have right clicked on it, import data file and that's it. Here, you have to write the commands. Now, what's the next thing that you need to do after you have inserted the data? In smart PLS, what you do is you develop or you create your model. You create something like this, where these are the indicators. Look at these. These are the indicators here for this construct and these are the indicators for this construct and this is your structural path from vision to organizational performance. Now this is your outer model here and this is your inner model here to specify the relationship between these variables. So next thing is we have to stepwise identify these constructs and their items. So let's go to our next step. So what we need to do is we need to first specify the measurement model because the step in, in structural equation modeling is that we first test the model for or the constructs for reliability and validity. Now in order to test the constructs for reliability and validity, we have to specify the measurement model. Now the path models that we make are actually made up of two elements. The measurement model, that is your outer model which describes the relationship between latent variables and their indicators or measures. And the structural model, which is used to test the relationship between latent variables. Now we begin with describing how to specify the measurement model. Now in SEMINAR or in PLSSCM, we develop our models or measurement and structural models are done simultaneously. The program itself differentiates between the two through our specification. Now measurement model is assessed to establish quality criteria that is your reliability and validity. Now hypothesis testing involving the structural relationship among constructs will only be as reliable or valid as the construct measures. Now your structural relationship among the constructs will only be reliable if your, the, if your constructs are reliable and valid. In order to do this in R, Seminar uses constructs function. Now this construct functions helps us specify all the construct measurement models. Within this list, various constructs can be defined using composite function that specifies the measurement of individual constructs. Your interaction term can be used to specify interaction terms which we will use for moderation or higher composite which we will use for hierarchical component models or higher order constructs. But for now, we are going to keep things simple and we are just going to use the composite function to specify our measurement model with a few independent and one dependent variable. Specifying the measurement model. Now what do we need to do to specify the measurement model? We have to identify or give the construct name. We have to give the item names and we have to identify the weights. And by weights, we mean whether we have a reflective construct or we have a formative construct. We are going to look into detail as to what do we mean by reflective or formative. Now, in order to understand what is reflective and formative, although we are going to look into this in detail in coming videos, but what you can do is there is a video in the description and you can have a look at it. So if it is a reflective construct, we are going to use mode A and if it is a formative construct, we are going to use mode P. Now, how do we specify our measurement model? How do we tell SEM in R that these are the two constructs with these indicators and I want to assess the reliability and validity of these two constructs? The constructs function compiles the list of constructs and their respective measurement model definition. Now, in case we've got 
an interaction term or higher cons higher composite we are going to use these other functions later the composite function describes the measurement model of a single construct and takes the argument as shown in the table now this composite function takes these arguments now through this composite function we are going to specify the construct name the item names and weight so how do we specify the measurement model now look at this this is the syntax now composite and you put in your construct name here in the quotes now if it has got multiple items we use this term here multi underscore items and therein you give the construct code and then the numbers and then the weight that is mode a for reflective and mode b for formative now let's assume we are we want to specify the construct collaborative culture so what you need to do is in the composite the first thing that you need to do is you need to mention collaborative culture here as your construct name then since it's a multi item scale and what is this cc now we have described it in the data file as cc1 cc2 cc3 cc4 cc5 and cc6 so this cc is the code and this is the number for each of the indicators from 1 up until 6 and this is mode a so it's a reflective construct now how do you see this in the data look at this here cc1 cc2 cc3 cc4 cc5 and cc6 so this cc here is mentioned like this here cc so there are multiple items beginning with cc and from 1 to 6 are the numbers that show all the items and you name this particular construct as collaborative culture just as you do in smart pls here it is now this is the name and these are the indicators from 1 to 4 this is the name and these are the indicators from 1 to 5 now if you were to define this it would have been very simple you would have written vision here then multi items vis then 1 to 4 or organizational performance here here organizational performance then multi items would have remained the same this would have been op and this would have been from 1 to 5 now how do we do this in r now this is the model that i want to develop these are the three predictors and this is one dependent variable now all these constructs will be defined under the constructs function now what if you have got a single item so instead of multi items we will write single item and single items is not neither formative nor reflective so we do not need the, that other bit we are just going to write the item or whatever the name we have given it in the data file we will use it further in an example later now how do you define this model in or how do you specify this measurement model so the first step is measurement model specification now here is our measurement model this is what you do The program code facilitates the specification of standard measurement models. However, the constructs function also allows specifying more complex model. That is, you can use interaction term or higher order constructs. But for now, we are just going to keep it simple. Now, this is the code that we are going to use to specify our measurement model. Now, this is one construct, the second construct, the third construct, and the fourth construct. As we saw in the last slide, one, two, three, and four. Let's copy this and put it in our program file. Copy this. Let's move back. Let's put it here. Let's put it down and let's put it here. Now look at this. Now we are creating our measurement model. And the first thing is that you specify your measurement model. Okay, what are the variables in your study? So you create an object that is your measurement model object. now this is the function constructs function now this will help you define or specify your measurement model how do you specify it you specify it through this function composite and this composite function takes in first the name of the variable you can give any name whatsoever you want then since this vision construct is defined or measured using multiple items and those items are represented as the initials are vis vis in the data set look at this here in the data set it's vis1 vis2 vis3 vis4 so vis 1 2 4 
Secondly, you can do for development, multi items development 1 to 7. Third, rewards, multi items RW1 to 4. Where is RW1 to 4? Here it is, RW1 to 4. And finally, our dependent variable collaborative culture and CC1 to 6. Now look at this. The bracket starts here, then there is another bracket, and the two brackets end here. Now this is how you define one single construct. Now when one single construct is defined, you add a comma and define the second construct. Then a comma and the third construct. Then the comma and the fourth construct. Now what is this bracket then? This is the bracket that you opened earlier. Now you have to take care of all these brackets, otherwise you will get errors. Now let's run this code here. We did run up until this code, now we can run this code. Let's run it. So no errors till now. Now up till now, what we have done is we have loaded the library, we have created the measurement model like this, where we have specified the simple measurement model and we have defined all our constructs like this. This is our vision, this is our development, this is rewards and this is collaborative culture. Now in the next session, we are going to look into how to specify the structural model. Thank you very much.